Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between, uh, let's wait a second, between Vela Hoppy as Pro Elves and Sazori's Chaos Dwarves. In the booth is uh, not a mummy, but someone as old as a mummy, it's Fatin, hello. Good evening Jim, <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> or, or, in other words, <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh it's it's interesting, isn't it? This this is a very, very, very scary Chaos Dwarf team. Yeah. I think it's fair to say. And the sort of team that could wipe Pros off a bitch in uh, the first four turns. We could have a non game or we could have a Decent game, because I don't know very much about Sasori. Do you know anything about him? I mean, I, well, someone said he's the alt of somebody who was banned, so he might be good. Okay. Um, well, he's clearly good because he's qualified for the playoffs, right? So yes. that means that means he's good. <laughs> yes. He's also named his team Chaos Dwarf, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's clearly a master of the obvious as well, as well as being good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Altus when he was banned, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? But I don't... Uh, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, because you can have, like, yeah. multiple accounts. Yeah, the the um, uh, Blood Bowl 2 admins know who the outs are because they, you have to give... Um, I mean, they, they can work out who the outs are because they have some details of the different players that you register, but I don't think they... They mind particularly so. Um, no. It's. It, I mean, well, some of the Blood Bowl two admins have alts as well, don't they? So I don't yes. think alt accounts is banned. It's also. Uh, yeah. it's but if you've been banned from CCL, uh, you know maybe I don't know what the official wording is on just using an alt and then not playing. You know, I don't know if it's meant to be the person doesn't play or what. I don't know how it's meant to work or how it does work. You know. But there you go. It is what it is. Vela Hoppy has got a wizard, so it's all going to come down to if he can get a good turn with a wizard, isn't it? Basically, he's, he's got, got a six. wizard and an edge six, yeah. Yeah. So it's just going to be. What does he and do? also, like, so sorry, he's got to be careful not to pile on too much. So you know, if you if you're greedy with your pylons, then you can leave gaps and stuff. Um, he's gonna. I mean. I, if I was playing the prowls here, I would I would take a couple of turns to like pick up some dudes or like whatever dudes are f remaining from the line of scrimmage and just try it and then and keep the best players protected. He's got to keep keep his edge six protected. He's yes. just got one bench. He's got twelve players. Twelve players and a yeah. wizard. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't seem an awful lot against this chorf team that looks very well put together, doesn't it? So yeah, it's it's rough. It's a rough situation. The job got they've got two two rookie hobs and a dirty player, so the, I would expect the I hated this player. Oh god. I hated this player. Oh he could get fouled. How did I was you gonna say before punching the claw bomb? Uh maybe he had some sort of plan? To did wrestle the bull with I don't know. Did he no, think he... the bull was minus strength? <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> it's a it's a new type of uh new type of player. It's called a, it's called a ball. You get it on short teams sometimes. <laughs> hmm. I didn't like that play. He gets to mighty blow the edge six. Do you mighty blow the edge six or do you deal with this guy coming for your balls? What's he carrying on at the moment? He's not got any carry at all, has he? He's powering. He's carrying on a ball, bitch. He's, he's got a car well a carrier ish a Roger. But no, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a proper. He doesn't have carrier. a carrier. No. no, he doesn't have a dedicated carrier. So he's carrying on, Mr. Bolt, bitch. Okay, so that is fails. Yeah, that is a weakness of this Shorf team. No good carrier. So oh, he he's got no. It. He's got no sure hands either, has he? He doesn't. No. Maybe he just has the add six though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> That, this is just a, an avoidable disaster for Veli. I, I don't know why he one dice blitz the ball, but no, that was that was bad. particularly before before not even making. I mean, if he was going to make a risky one dice for no obvious benefit, then I don't know. May, are we are we missing something here? Did he should he have? No, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it was trash. 
it, that's my honest assessment. And I, you know, I like Vela Hoppier and I think he's yeah. a really good player. But I think that was that was terrible. Also, I think this is bad from Sassori. He should have gone in the middle, right? He should have gone in the middle. Use this claw for me. You, you, you've got a free player to like use. It's already moved. It's already doing something. Just use it. Maybe maybe he wants to come aside because he's got a frenzy player and the pros don't have a frenzy player. So. Maybe he wants to make it easier for the wrestle stripper to hit the ball. I was going to say, yeah, the wrestle stripper is like, it's only a four plus dodge and you can cancel that assist. There's no guard around the ball for the wrestle stripper's point of view. So uh, I would 100% cancel this guard of the dirty player from four plus dodge in to go for the wrestle strip here. Yeah. If or it maybe... bounces anywhere in the center. I mean, if it if it scatters off the pitch, bounces anywhere in the centre, then you're looking good with all the elves on the right on the right hand side as we look at it. Yeah, yeah, you can get the blood step in there, and then bosh. This is about as good a chance as you're going to get, isn't it? Really, a four plus. Uh, it is from tackle, to be fair. Yeah, it is from tackle, but it's it's four plus in seventy five percent to get in, um, and you're almost certain to strip him. Yeah, and it's going to go somewhere. Yeah, two plus and it, to get the ball. This drive is pretty much over, if, if that doesn't... I mean, like, so he will want to use his wizard when he's got his edge 6 on the pitch and he's just had his edge 6 removed. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This has all happened quite quickly, actually. Like, I was just settling down to a nice game. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying how I would have just, you know, dodged out a couple of people who would... Killed on the yellow S, and you know, like protected my good players and settled in for a little bit of a defensive drive. And Billy's lost half his team through his own fault. Yeah. It's not like the first turn was that bad. <laughs> I've had a lot worse first turns. Oh no, he's not cancelling the guy. Mm. Maybe he's going to end of turn lightning bolt this claw pump. <laughs> I think you've seen through his. You've seen through his master plan. <laughs> Hello, Eliod. Welcome to the welcome to the game. If you're just catching up here, Veli <laughs> tried a one dice on a bull turn one without moving any of his other players. Is he going for the up? Is he blitzing me? Going for the uphill. God, I hate that as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, okay, Veli's just wait. Just going to run away now, isn't he? Sure. Mm. Yeah, but basically, if you're going to lie down and run away, then, uh, and if you decided you're not going to use the wizard this turn, uh, sorry, this half, uh, because, you know, most of your players disappeared, then you can but you can afford a reroll there, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd make it a one day. I, I don't understand. But yeah, hello, Elliot. It's, it's all gone to ratchet. I don't, really don't, don't get what fella Hoppy has been smoking. <laughs> Confirmed, not Rick Reckless. <laughs> yep, yep. That, is, uh, that was an unRick blitz. Pro failed. <laughs> <laughs> How is this guy still alive? I like. Um... He's got some interesting hobs, hasn't he? He's got a guard block <laughs> frenzy hob. Yeah. And a dead player rod hob. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> what can you say about those two? <laughs> <laughs> the less the better, I think. <laughs> the less the better, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm. Dirty Roger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, what isn't you? it? Dirty Roger, you. He's like he's keeping it on the side. Well, the strip threat's gone, but he's still got a leap wrestle threat on the other side of the pitch there. So um, yeah, you've got to stay three in, haven't you? You've got to stay three in. Um. Well, what's the leap threat here then? The leap wrestle threat? Can he? No, I mean it's always going to be an uphill. Even I if think. you just uphill punch, though, right? You can still get powered, and the ball could go in the crowd. Like I don't even care yeah. about strip. I just think you could just get punched. <laughs> and and it could go in the crowd. Pretty careless here by Sazori, but I mean his team's really good, isn't it? Well, he was hampered a little bit in terms of space by being by not getting the knockdown on the side stepper, so that 
closed up a little bit of space for him. I guess he didn't want to get too close to that, but yeah. maybe if he had have got the knockdown on the sidestepper, then he would have been three in. But maybe. I think it's a it's a good tactic against Woody's one. If if you think they're going to come in to try a sack, um, to have it on the sideline, especially if you've got a frenzy piece, because then you can just. You know, if the sack fails or if the sack succeeds, you can often just like frenzy their war dancer yeah. off a bit. And it's a similar situation here where he's got a, a wrestle. He's got a kind of, he's got a bad war dancer there, hasn't he? So. Yeah. You can see why he's going up the sideline, but yeah, I think the ball should definitely be. Uh, <laughs> particularly, there's some such. Sort of I guess he's he's just thinking about the wizard all the time, isn't he? And and. Yeah. Belly must not have given up on the wizard yet. So, no. If he um, gets a goal and opportunity, he's going to whiz, isn't he? So he's, he's got. You've still got to be mindful of the whiz as the choice. Yeah. But I think if he hasn't, Belly hasn't actually taken that much. What's he taken attrition wise? He's taken one Kaz, couple of KOs. Three kills. Oh, I bet he's used his Zeppo, isn't he? So, yeah. Yeah, so one Kaz and three KOs. So, not that much permanent attrition yet. So, I think I would be thinking as in his position, maybe score quick or score when I can, second half. Um, yeah, and then bits for that. To make it 1 1. And then have a short drive where you might or might not use the wizard, but you probably will have your add six on the pitch. Well, he's, he's got nothing on the pitch now, has he? So, yeah. yeah. You can't wizard. You can't use the wizard here. Or, if you just score quick and then try and try and defend, don't get the opportunity to use the wizard then. Keep the wizard for overtime, maybe. So, mm. this half, is, this, half is, this drive has just gone really badly south. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, assuming we see a pile on here that doesn't remove him, would you get a dirty Rog foul in? Yes, I would. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Dirty Rogers, and <laughs> I would. Uh, can he? Or can I might even him? three dice this guy, maybe. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind a three dicing him. He's not three dicing him. He's two dicing him. Oh, 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 oh. Le blim blom blue. He gets, he's where's gonna where's he gonna three go dice now? now? He's got to go here. Or, or one of these two are here, right? So he can't, he can't go there, he, he can't gets go served. The sideline. Yeah. yeah, he gets served if he goes to the sideline, he just goes away. Fair enough. Now you've got to get in here, haven't you? Okay, so Veli will be breathing a bit of a sigh of relief there. Oh boy, how do you could have been served? The, the grab could have blitzed him and then just pushed him there and then served him. Fuck about. Yeah, that was. Mm. That would have been very nice. Clutch daddy. <laughs> yeah, I like that play. Grab so cancelling the. Yep. Yeah. I've not spotted the grab on there. No. Is grab. Is grab a. Is grab a thing for. Chorfs? I guess that's why he picked grab, right? I mean. Grab's not an obvious choice for. No, I would have gone piling on and then. Uh, and then if you get another claw, you, you're golden, yeah. aren't you? Um. But yeah, they, they don't get a lot. Yeah, as Elp says, like you, you've got pro, which really you only want with with a claw pommet because it's worth greeding it, and then dauntless because they they end up down strength a, a decent amount, don't they? Versus I really think it's a little bit strength. like it's a little bit like with elves. Um, you always want to be ready for your elf to potentially roll doubles for guard, or you want you always want to be sort of like have that in mind that um, if he rolls doubles, I want this to be a good guard player. Um, because there's not really much else to take, you know. Is there a way in here? No, not really. No. Um, and yeah, with the chores, you always want to be ready and have it as a decent claw player. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think guard, mighty blow, stand firm is pretty much what you're going to take on everybody, isn't it? Yep. And then. Maybe, and then you've got, to, you've got to get the odd pile in case you've got oh, I, I do quite like the grab, though. I mean, but in which case, if he, what I'm saying is, if he 
had thought enough about it to take grab and to consider the advantages of grab. I mean, he's not using grab as like for one turning or anything. He's using then. Then why didn't he remember? It's his own player, so he should have remembered that to maybe maybe think about surfing or, or he must know that he's using it against the. Yes, you would have surfers that he's not. You would have thought that, yes. <laughs> In much the same way as people take mighty blow and then don't block on the LOS with them. <laughs> yeah, like he's taken grab, so he should be using grab. Yeah, of course. Alright, so came in for a cheeky uphill with Wrestle there. Mm -hmm. Very cheeky. I know that feeling because that's the only way that anybody's ever getting the ball off Rick's um, block ogres in uh, in the Super League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, once a block ogre's got the ball, he's he's pretty good, isn't he? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not Vela Hoppy as finest hour so far. I think it's fair to say he's been maybe you know maybe he's like panicked a bit or whatever. It's it's a, like it's a horrible match, isn't it? Like you don't want to be playing this match at all. But, no. Um, Is he gonna? He's moving quite a long way this turn. He's got four turns. He doesn't need to hurry this, but he's gonna make something safe. I mean, you can make it pretty safe, can't you? Like it's. He <laughs> can't blitz that sidestep now, can he? <laughs> no. Who's no, he gonna he blitz? Shouldn't. <laughs> he might, but he shouldn't. <laughs> Oh, he's he should have just moved this hobgoblin to here first, 100%, shouldn't he? And the other goblin the other side as well. This, this, yeah. the, the guard could and, have and gone the bull. here. And he could have gone here. The bulls would need a GFI though. So, th th this hobgoblin to here, yeah. this hobgoblin to here, and then after the blitz he could have GFI'd. GFI the bull to get the corner here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, piled on on the loner, didn't get a result. Get Jamming loads of guard and tackle around there. Is that Blitzer still on the floor down there? Yes. <laughs> he has been since turn one or something, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he scored on turn one and like, well, Veli's like, you now, failed me. <laughs> now it's turn five. <laughs> you won't fail me, you will not stand. <laughs> if somebody rolls double skull on a one dice, uh, Blitz you know, on my team, I just I just forget about them for the rest of the fucking half or game. So, <laughs> oh, we did get the uh, did snake the uh, did snake the bull there. Boy, howdy, that gives them a potential one d. <laughs> With Ooh. which player? Ah, <laughs> uh, this this rando lineman. One, two, three, four. <laughs> GFI, GFI. Yeah, so two plus two plus two plus two plus for a one dice. Yeah. Gotta go for it. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you, really? <laughs> Not doing much else today. <laughs> <laughs> or or he could um, this wrestler. Um, five, yeah, I was gonna say you could seven, you could get that you could get that lineman in as an assist and then uh and then go in for the leap wrestle from a different direction. Yeah. I'm not sure that's any better. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in the ground before becoming a scoring threat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sort of popping up out of a molehill on turn eight or something. It's like a uh, surprise as I've been here all the time. <laughs> Where's my ball? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a very blood ball -y thing to do, isn't it, to be fair? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking about this one. Yes, I'm not used to three minute turns. I'm used to one minute turns, Jim. I'm I'm a fast player now. Are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many times have you run out of time in this super league? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, it's just running away. I think he's just running away. <laughs> My fuck, so it's helping. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I'm still really slow at Blood Bowl, but I can do a thousand push-ups now. <laughs> Let's just say I'm faster at doing, I'm faster at playing Blood Bowl than I am at uh, working on the push-ups um, mountain that somebody's, <laughs> somebody's left me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's running everybody away. Boy, howdy. I guess you want 
So what's the, what's the one turn looking like then? He's got one, two stand firms. Two stand firm? Um, yeah. Yeah. So he definitely he he wants to save his one turn. Uh, his, he wants to save his re-roll for a riot or a quick snap or a nice one turn opportunity maybe. Yeah. It's not going to be an easy one turn though, is it? Like with. No. Any kind of reasonable setup to two stun firm should be enough. He's got no guard. He does have a lead player, which can make the one turner a bit better because you can you can um, leap into the initial blitz from unusual squares. But has he got any guard? No. No, he's got no guard at all. I remember that from the, uh, the first. Oh, he's got he's got one. Wait, who had none then? Must be Yak that doesn't have any guard at all. One guard. Or or maybe he was missed next. Right maybe he was missed next in the last one. He had no guard last game, I'm sure. Yeah, or he or he could have um, rolled guard. Well, he's got he's got guard and block, so he could have leveled that guy. Oh, he got guard first, then but yeah. Right. Yeah, so I, I think he must have been missed next, and that's why he's moving five as well. So, maybe so he's got one one um, one guard. Mm, I can't can't see it happening really, but no, I think it's going to be very 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 difficult. <laughs> yes, coffee. <laughs> <would>. <laughs> All we gotta go. Are we gonna see a dirty Roger foul? Yeah, we should do. He's got two bench. Well, the thing is with letting your dirty player get to level three is that like he's actually a good, what, like a half good player. So yeah. uh, <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. It's a bad have a Roger or to make a dirty foot. I can probably keep a Roger on the field. Let's go for it. There's the Apo's gone, so. Yeah, there you go. God, man. We've seen three fouls in a row that have just led to fucking cars. If I could do that every time, I'd be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we should introduce Sasori to the concept of the gym foul. <laughs> Maybe he's not heard of this uh, this revolutionary strat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I'm feeling a bit sad. This is this is elves. This is what happens to elves when they get to the playoffs, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I experienced it in my game certainly. <laughs> yeah, I watched your replay of that game. I didn't watch it live because I was streaming, but I, I watched the replay of that game. It's sad times as well. Yeah, it was are fun when they work, aren't they? But they're so that's, much that's fun the... when they work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the fun when you get the edge five. Fun when you get the the, the plays. But it's not. It's not just chomping and bashing people up the field, is it? Which is a more reliable <laughs> way of doing things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's going to foul this time. He's not going to foul. He's not going to give targets to these. He? Yeah, he's going to foul anyway, just for numbers at this point. I think now with the with the cars and the and the, uh, the you know the apple and the cars, I think now you now you just foul for numbers. So I'm I'm on now, board with that foul now as much as he's got as much as he's got Rog. Just because you just want to push, you you just want to tread on a down man's face on a neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, now it's getting to the point where you can you can start to get. Get him to critical elf, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Elf meme is having a go at me for my my slow play, tanking down to ten seconds. When when I watched him, think carefully, think very very carefully before going for a six plus six plus uh, <laughs> hill bull sack <laughs> earlier this afternoon. <laughs> elf meme loves that, uh, his bull sacks. <laughs> he loves his bull sack. A man who loves his bull sack. Yeah. Well. It was uh, it was good to watch. <laughs> he nearly got there as well, actually. <laughs> he did, <roll>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly made some monster plays in that game. He's gonna. Is is this his? He's setting up, isn't he? But I mean, yeah. Weird that he's got. Has he ever used this setup? That he he's just he's just <laughs> but. Uh... <laughs> This is an interesting um, variation on the rule of five. Yeah. Got seven elves, one out of four KOs. He needs 
He needs at least two back of the second half, doesn't he? He needs two back for the second half. He needs to waste four turns. Uh, he needs to try and score on turn five. Give the chorfs with with any team left whatsoever. Um, he needs to give the chorfs about three turns. Chorfs might try and score. He needs to have his edge six on the pitch. And wizard turnover score two one. Yeah. He's not gonna. He's not gonna make it to overtime. Overtime is not good for armor seven teams. No. <laughs> like, or armor just... eight teams for that matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, it's just overtime is itself a big buff for um, Bash teams. Yeah. When this sort of thing happens. Boy, howdy. Oh, yeah, similar to my, my one, wasn't he? He's got a leap and then uphill, basically. Yeah. Um, yes, they do, Pugak. Yeah, the leveling is uh, is very, very kind to halflings now. You don't have to take skills or anything. Um, and then when you do take them, you can just guarantee stats or uh, doubles or whatever. And... Um, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to film Is this the first Chalice game of the day? I think, Jim, you're doing another one after this, aren't you? Well, no, and Ch and um, you and Calcium just uh, just cast one. Yeah, this is this is the third Chalice game of the day, and we'll be doing the replay after this game as well. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to cancel. I need to cancel uh, Monday Night Claw. <laughs> one second. Oop, forgot. Yeah, Plugak, if you're a fan of uh, stunties, then Enarion's um, been streaming quite a lot of Halfling, so that's a good, a good watch. And Store is also streaming. Yeah. Enarion's rival for the uh, for the for the Halfling legend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think Store's been streaming much Halflings, but. Is he playing Halflings in Blitzbet store? He is, yeah, he is. Oh, yes, that's pretty good. Yeah, and Rick's doing augers as well in the main event. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lunatic. I would have uh, I would have really liked to have been around for <clears throat> doing a bit of commentary this weekend, but um, I'm not going to be not going to be at home for that that weekend, so I hope it's I hope it all goes well. Love watching Blitzbet. It is glorious, isn't it? Yes, uh, Skuro, Skuro, and I will be doing, will be doing the commentary on, on, on my channel. Oh, that'd be lots of fun. <laughs> Plus, you can you can scoop up any any players that um, uh, that uh, get ejected early from Blitzpit, and you can you can recruit them onto the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he's done the pass and the catch. He's done the four plus catch. Mm hmm. So now he's, he's going to leap, isn't he? He's going to leap. Sidestep to there. Block. Sidestep to there. Block. Sidestep to there. Oh, he, he's, he's done the wrong square, though. Cause he, oh, he's, he's done it wrong. He's done it wrong. Flip me, guys. He had to have this guy stood here, didn't he? And then leap from. There. Wait, no, he could have leaped from here. Yeah, he could have done it. No, you have to leap from here. You had to hit from here, I, I believe. So that, you know, so that when he sidestepped to there, it would have been three. I think he had to hit from here. I think he did it slightly wrong. Not that it matters, because he didn't get the uphill. They made the ad six pass and it's a movement blitzer, so you need three pushes back. Yeah, I, I mean, this this guy was stood in the wrong spot. He should have been. Gets two back, that's what he needed, I think. 
nine players. Okay. Got the you know what we're going to see now, Jim. You know what we're going to see now. Daka. <laughs> <laughs> or, or will we? Uh, maybe he just bombs it up the sideline. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think if Suzori lets him bomb it up the sideline, he might bomb it up the sideline. I mean, no, so if, you, if you bomb it up the sideline, at least you get another KO roll to get one more player back, maybe. Yeah. I think that would probably Daka this. He's still got some quick players. He's still got his ad six. What's he got? Three, four catches? Yeah. Yeah, four catches and a blitzer. And some and some uh, shitters. Gosh. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see right. Daka. Woo! Is Velia Dakarist, do you know? I don't know. I don't know if he's joined the cult. <laughs> <laughs> Has he seen the light of the Dakar? God, I love the Dakar so much. It just feels so bad. Like, if he just took some LOS blocks on here, it's just like, oh, I think I'll just push some armor nine dwarfs with my loner line man or something. <laughs> and then the following turn, I'm going to get fucking swamped by. <laughs> a zillion guard mighty blow tackle have my entire team and waste a load of rerolls trying to escape on turn two when you could just be running away on turn one. So yeah. I think nothing wrong with daiquiring. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> there is no no point in joining a fight with a bunch of uh, bunch of stupid dwarfs right away from turn one of your offense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Except for the one time when you just take your LOS box and just like Kaz two dwarfs on the yeah. <laughs> on the line, but yeah, that doesn't happen very often. No, and it's it's nice to be fair. It's nice being able to hit a hobo, isn't it? But yeah, leaving yourself in range of four com, like it's really nice, isn't it, against chores to just let, watch them waddle around with their shitty little claw palms. You know, it takes yeah. three yeah. turns to get three ball, turns. <laughs> <laughs> what are his balls like? Show me his balls again. I don't know. Just, show uh, me his balls. <laughs> show me his balls. He's got one break tackle, tackle out, and one break tackle. Okay, They're not the scariest balls I've ever seen, but um... <laughs> why is he put his hobgoblin? Why is he put his wrestle dodge hobgoblin on the line? What's that? Uh... I don't know. Why not just a stand firm chorf? Yeah. Oh, because he's going to get a put to tempt him into oh. the hits, so he can okay. just whack all of his chorfs on the LOS. <laughs> No, he doesn't get to push somebody with his loan of fucking line, and he just gets wrecked instantly. He's he skipped part A of your non dackering plan. Yeah. He skipped the ineffectual <laughs> LOS portion of. You don't get to push anybody. <laughs> oh god, this is rotten, isn't it? Oh, this is so so it's basically all about the reroll burn, isn't it? Like, you're almost guaranteed to have to burn rerolls if you don't dacker. Or, I mean, dackering, I think, is most is the most sort of efficient way of preserving your rerolls for at least some turns. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like this. I think he could have been more rowdy with this cell. Like, it's not terrible or anything, is it? But I, I would have rather been being more rowdy. What you mean? Put more people on the line? Yeah, everything. Otherwise, let's go. Why, why be one back? Just put them in the other ways. Yeah. Well. Um. I guess he's thinking Veli might go for some sort of breakthrough here. I reckon Veli is blitzing the left hand. Leave the right hand bull tackle out to dry, and then some sort of potato-ish up the uh, the left hand side with the edge six. Is he going to go for the one, one D on the bull again? <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked out really well for him last time. <laughs> he can, um, he can two dice the bull. I uh, can't he say. I mean, he can. I mean, he can, but will he? <laughs> I'd really he certainly, enjoy, I'd he really certainly should do. <laughs> I'd really enjoy a one D skull into skull again. <laughs> <laughs> I like to uh, I like to begin all my halves with a 1D skull into skull <laughs> he's he's GFI is he GFI I don't know. no that was, that was this guy GFI oh because he's moved five <clears throat> okay here we go we're going to do it we're going to two dice the ball this time mm -hmm. and 
push him. Devastating push. <laughs> Sketchy. Yeah, I right, uh, definitely the Chols. I think the Chols are the best team in in the competition. He does not have sidestep. Yes. Yeah, I think that is. Oh, that's still dodgy though, isn't it? This is. He's got to GFI again, hasn't he? Well, even then, if he doesn't, he doesn't let's, uh, this is horrible. Oh God, I don't like this. I think I would have GFI'd the lineman first before doing this. This is I, horrible, I, isn't it? But if you GFI the lineman at least one square, you can protect the capture a little bit better. This is one GFI to surf. <laughs> Two GFIs to surf is a uh, surface catcher. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, what, by filling in the box behind the catcher and yeah. then blitzing him from the bulls, or the square north of the ball? Yeah, yeah, this, this yep. whole ball GFIs. This guy gets in. He GFIs to hit. He doesn't even need a GFI to hit. Well, okay, so it's one GFI. Literally one yeah. GFI to surf uh, to surf the catcher. You've got, you got to do that, haven't you? you just, you've yep. just got to. <laughs> there's, there's not a choice. What's he carrying the ball on back there? What player? Uh, the catcher. Quite a nice catcher, yeah, Bloodstone. Mm -hmm. If, if I'm really short on, if I'm if I'm short on men for a weekend, Jim, then uh, quite often I just go with uh, like a, a regular line man or something. <laughs> so um, for for picking up and throwing it, like I would have rather my catcher be somewhere useful, like on the sideline with sidestep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and there's a deal. Yeah, that's certainly. Does he have a thrower on this team? He does have a throw, yeah. Not not got skills though. No, oh, why is he playing? Why are you not using a thrower, man? <laughs> like all of the other catchers have nerves of steel, so you can. It's so easy. Just if it's long range, you just like um, throw to a nerves of steel guy and then hand off. Yeah. Should definitely pick it up and throw. Catcher should be. Yeah. Yeah. If, once you've got a thrower, throw. yeah, you should use him, shouldn't you? For the, in this yeah. situation, just get the ball center in, or, or forward. The ball could go forward, but then you've got to have something in this area of the field in case it goes wrong. <clears throat> so we'll just keep the ball maybe back here or something. I don't, I don't think he needs to put the ball forward this turn because he this turn he's going to surf the biggest threat for yeah. scoring, which is his add six, and then next turn he can think about threatening the ball. So. Oh, that's a mistake, isn't it? No, it's a terrible mistake. Yeah. Horrible, horrible play. Because, yep. yeah, that's where he sidesteps to, obviously. Horrible. Just cost himself the fucking out six by making that block. Terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's just terrible, isn't it? Like, yep. who's going to yep. say whether it's right or wrong? I, I, <laughs> but, but it's but you fucking terrible. <laughs> Unimaginably oh. bad making that block. Like, like it fucking. Like he, was, like, he was setting up for the surf. Fuck, and then... man. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't like a big brain player, was it? This was three, four, five, six. This was a GFI and then a two. Like, this was pretty easy, wasn't it? Like, everyone in the chalice should have seen that surf, shouldn't they? I think. I don't think that's particularly hard to have seen that. When it's it's number one player by a mile, you've got to think, can you and surf And he moved it? the Hobgoblin in, into that square yeah. to look like he was about to surf him. So, yeah. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe he just like didn't realize it was. Maybe a bit, he's so. playing. Maybe he's one of these guys that plays with the skills. The the skills turned off. I get this quite a lot playing a lot of pros. Like people don't realize the blitzers have sidestep because they yeah. play with the, um, they play with the just the the learn skills only, so you don't see the sidestep. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think that's probably what happened. As well. well, I mean, I don't know. You're playing in the fucking chalice against pro elves. <laughs> you might want to like read the skills on the players or something. But, uh, no. <laughs> He's yeah. just messed that up completely. <laughs> yeah, I think that's now the ad six isn't even on isn't even on uh, any tackle. Yep. Can he get this ball out of the way or does he not need to? I mean he could just lob it but 
just love it. What's it? A six plus intercept, and it's a three plus pass. Yeah. He can. He can one dice wrestle the ball, can he? Yeah. But I don't think that's better than a three plus two plus. Maybe. What's this? This is this is a two plus. These are two plus dodges, yeah, aren't they? Just all twos. It's just all twos. Yeah. I don't think you have to. He doesn't have to worry about the rest. He just has to worry about getting into the edge six. So if he if he one dice wrestles the ball, that's with better the than being left, intercepted. Yeah. Uh, it's better than being intercepted, and it does leave the option of then handing off. Yeah, to... pass to this guy and then hand off. And then it's all on twos, but I'm not quite sure that's better because you've got to then do you need another two. Yeah, but it's going to be. No, that probably is better. Cause, like two two pluses is better than a three plus normally. So yeah, yeah. so I think maybe I think uh, yeah, given the chance of six, it's a six plus to intercept here with the bull. I think you it is worth wrestling the bull. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah, it's definitely better to wrestle the bull. Then, um, not. He can do that. The idea was to free him up to do something. <laughs> what was that guy doing? <laughs> In the fucking chalice! <laughs> Charge of educating the nation's youth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do enjoy pushing stand firm people. That's yeah. uh, that's that's one way to pass the time while you just wait to pass it to your edge seat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now he's just got to he's got to he's got to deal with the intercept chance now, hasn't he? And it was definitely yep. better to one D because if you one D, then you can re-roll that, and yep. obviously exactly. this can't be re-rolled. An intercept is like a two plus that you have to do, but you can't re-roll it. So yeah, yeah. There we go. Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Three plus pass. Won't be able to do the three plus passes in Blood Bowl three because that'll be a five plus pass. Yeah. yeah big nerf, isn't it? Yep. Fucking idiots. <laughs> nerfing, my, nerfing my elves to oblivion. Yeah. So at least Pharrells can get a throw easily. Oh no, they probably won't. Probably like 75 or something, won't it? Seeing as they, they made all of the throwers shockingly expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. I, I probably will play Pharrells with two throws. Yeah. You can level them into quite good players. I think they are 75, but yeah. And, and I knew they would be. <laughs> I think you'll just have to change you'll have to change your place a little bit but I, I do fucking hate that I, the gutter runners and um, witch elves and whatnot. these are players that I, I enjoy passing with <laughs> yeah now witch elves on a 5 plus gutter runners on a on a 4 yeah yeah um, dark elves do have passing skill access for runners but You, um, but runners don't even pass on a 2 plus they no. pass on a 3 plus no it's horrible isn't it <laughs> and generally you don't ever take any of the passing skills anyway so yeah. the passing skills are all bad except for except for leader and uh, on the ball right on the ball uh, <laughs> I don't know I, I've forgotten exactly how intercepts work in, in Blood Bowl 3 but it's not um I mean, on the balls are all right, isn't it? Like, it's it's not so good for elves, but it's it's pretty good for like, yeah. dwarf runners, isn't it? It's pretty good getting pass block for free. Yeah, I think for teams that used to take kickoff return anyway, then um, yeah. on the ball is fine. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've still got a game going here, Jim. Like, uh, this yeah. is still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine elves is KO didn't come back. Yeah. He was hoping it did, but it didn't. Still got four catchers and a blitzer and a wizard and an edge six. Yeah, maybe, maybe don't let him blitz the <laughs> maybe don't let him blitz the yeah. six this time. <laughs> let's, let's try and avoid doing the old one dice on the ball this, <laughs> this half. Uh, a lot will depend on So this is all about all about timing really. He's got to turn him over. He's got no choice, otherwise it's going to over I mean, well no. 
he can stop him, I suppose. Yeah. But he's just I not think... going to, is he? Like, that's the thing. It's not going to go, like, well enough that he, he gets to just stop him because it's yeah. going to get removed. So he, he's going to think... either turn him over or, or, or get scored on it. I really don't think he's going to be able to just stop him. Exactly, yeah. I, d I think the chance yeah, of overtime are well. quite low. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Good evening, little wrestlers. <laughs> 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 This is about the time when some little wrestlers come round to your house, then, Jim. <laughs> God, imagine if you said that, fat. <laughs> well, I like people were having a go at PTK the other day for surrounding the fellow wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to go. Like, you could fail this pickup now, right? He hasn't got a reroll. He hasn't got shoe hands or anything. This could just yep. be a, a muff pickup and then a swarm of. Wealth catches in the backfield. Yes, it's definitely. Um... No removals. Yeah. Quickie bump time. Yeah, a little bit. This is this is this is concerning for the chorfs. There's a removal. <laughs> Just as it was starting to get concerning. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, um, after the skull, should he have set his, like, he set his hobgoblins there, right? So that when he picks up, um, yeah. he can move them, he can move his player that picks up, up forwards. But do you think maybe he should have just set up those four players, the bull and the two hobgoblins, on the ball, like, back, back on the ball? Yeah, um, something. So that, you know, because now he's only got one player on there. Oh, he's kind of out of range anyway. But yeah, this, nice. this is... Uh, that's a useful scatter for him. Yeah, this is this is a good area to be in because it's like the area where these guys would be in. Otherwise, yeah. isn't it? So if you had them back, then then the more, these more five are the in this. Off. Yeah, yeah, then these five are in this space. So at least it's occupying the space that the elves would like to be occupying, and they can't. Yeah, he's not. Really he's not getting this team. Yeah, chopped in, chopped in two really. Yeah. I think he's going to one dice, one dice ball here. <laughs> 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 this time, I mean, he could he could two D the ball, right? He could just dodge through here and two D. Why the ball. why uh, why two D him when you can when you can one D him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, but well, he's going for the GFIs, <laughs> which is fair, isn't it? That's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good tag. Yeah, but now I mean, he's going to be a bit more he, conservative now. The rerolls. What I guess he might do now is blitz. Try and two dice the tackle ball, possibly, so that he's got no tackle no, to deal with dice. that rod server. One dice. One dice. dice. <laughs> <laughs> we know how that ends. So you could. Yeah, he could. He'd have to I mean, do two dodges through tackle, wouldn't he? The two, do you? Yeah. And he can put this he's blood stepper do, on he's this. Got, he's got to do one dodge through tackle anyway. I would certainly put the blood stepper on the on the dirty player. Yeah. Yeah. Put him on the dirty Roger, tag him, and then yeah, do your do your dodges through tackle at two D him with the with yeah. Because if you if you tag where you just pointed to the square you just pointed to like south um, west of the tackle ball, then yeah. when you do blitz him, you can blitz him in a way that he can't easily break tackle away and tackle yes. the blood stepper. Yes, exactly. And you can yeah. probably base up the other hobgoblin as well with the blitzer with the guy you just blitz with. Yep. So leave him on there. So it leaves him with no free hobgoblins and no tackle in the area to deal with the ball. And it leaves him in a bit of shit, actually, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it does. So it all depends on whether he can make these two dodges or a one dice. Yes. I'm not sure. I think he's obviously yeah, he's entitled to take his time about this one. Yeah. Crucial turns. This is like winning the game or losing the game in the next three turns. Yeah. Right, he's not doing well. I like my square more. Ooh, he's getting rowdy there, doing a GFI and a dodge to get the bear. I mean, that is yeah, a better yeah. square. That is a better square, definitely. Or is he going to hit from the other side? Well, the thing about it is that he does have a frenzy hobgoblin available, so... Yeah. He's probably a bit frightened of leaving, leaving it in the square you were thinking about, but... Yeah. Is yes. this another GFI, or is this not a GFI? Oh. Done. It's a fucking 
fucking stun. Do you have plan to get him on all probably? Yeah. See, my my plan was to tag him anyway with a blitzer, right? And then yeah. And then you're screening that, so you're stopping that. He's, he's, does he have to tag the frenzy now? Maybe. Mm, I think it's worth a go. Mm. Surprising. Mm, interesting. And plus he's got the Wiz next turn as well, hasn't he? So it's... Uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking about him being in the shit, is because even if he does make a good recovery here, he's not going to be wizard safe, I wouldn't say. No. I guess he I guess he didn't want to tag the the whole because he's thinking about wizarding next. So he's thinking about the wizard turn next and he wants yeah. the wrestler to be... Uh, wants the edge six to be on his feet. Yeah. What did you announce the chores, Jim? Wants oh. to play. Concede. <laughs> uh, complain about I, I actually... a stupid little children's game, and then and then stream Call of Duty. Oh. <laughs> you probably <laughs> blitz You'd this guy. Get, get power, a foul in. Power, power the bludger, uh, pick up the ball, hand off to the bull, go into a cage. Easy. So was that to get? I like to get that catcher in. I thought that catcher was a was a. Blitzer, so I didn't hadn't calculate the range. But did he do a GFI with the broad step short hands catcher? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and a, G a GFI, yeah, as well as the three plus dodge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind the three plus dodge. Like I, I think people don't do enough three plus dodges once their reroll is gone during the, during the, for an elf turn. If you've played your elf turn and your reroll's gone and the situation's such that you know it might be a good idea. I think. People underestimate the power of doing three plus dodges because it's just better than doing two plus two plus movements. You know, GFIs and and, and dodges without dodge and or from tackle and stuff. So yeah. I do quite like doing the throwing in the odd three plus dodges here and there. Yeah, like if, if someone said to you this thing only fails one in nine times and you weren't a blood ball player, you'd think well, that sounds great, <laughs> wouldn't you? Like really. Uh, but when you play blood ball, you're like, oh fuck, no way, no way can that possibly work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dadle Quiz says, you know, if you play stunties, you do quite a lot of three plus dodges. So, uh, Ooh, gets some pal. See, I told you just two D and get the pal. That's what I would have done. I would have done it with a frenzy because uh, it's a because it's a it's a it would have been a frenzy opportunity, as space says. <laughs> Well, it's a frenzy one, two D into one D though. With, yeah. If you do it with a frenzy, right? I know that it's a frenzy opportunity. But space doesn't call them frenzy traps; he calls them frenzy <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> I didn't. I had not heard that uh, that term. <laughs> oh, it's fucking amazing! Probably in the probably in my clips channel. Does he also call them touchdown opportunities when he's close to the touch, <laughs> close to the end zone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then he he chooses to not. <laughs> Not take those opportunities sometimes. Uh, right, here we go. Here's the clip. <laughs> Here's the clip from Space Cadet. You can all watch it. In fact, I'll play it now. Fuck it. I don't care. I'd say people think too much about frenzy traps. Adev tilts his opponents by doing three pluses as elves. <laughs> <laughs> right, one sec, right, and I'll just play it, right? Yep. I'd say people think too much about frenzy traps. It's not a trap. Uh, it's just an opportunity. I don't. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's not a trap. It's just an opportunity. <laughs> oh, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Sorry, right you. now you bolt. Okay. Right, you've got to. Yep. You bolt. You got a nerves of steel catcher there to pick it up or to to score with. You got the add six there to pass with. You got some other players to blitz some people with. Yeah. This was always going to be a bolt turn, anyways. Oh, the god scatter! <laughs> mm. Can he get a scatter on it? I mean, yes, but how is he going to try it? He's got a leap player. Yeah. Fuck, what a scatter. That's horrible, isn't it? Literally anywhere else was better than that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, if he does pick up the ball, he, he doesn't need to go anywhere with the Edge 6. He can just hand off to the Nerves of Steel. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess the Edge 6 and just think, fuck it, can't he? Like, he could dodge and yeah, he could just, what, what, two, three without, oh, no, two, two. I think he could, he could, 
He could one dice leap the. Oh, sorry, he could one dice blitz the um, bull with his wrestle catcher that's on the left. And we all know how good one dice blitzing bulls is, so. Yeah. I don't know if any he of could, that's better than just doing the dodges with the. Uh, in fact, he could just go around, couldn't he? He could go one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, he could just literally do that and it's not even hard. <laughs> like, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> that might be the best play. Like the completely brainless run around and dodge yeah, and pick you, it up in three. Or you could, you could, you could, you could maybe blitz the frenzy hobgoblin. You come in that way once you've once you've blitzed the frenzy hob. I just don't think it's worth it, you know, like uh, for how hard it is to blitz the frenzy hob. It's not hard to blitz the frenzy hob. He's got he's got a, a blitzer that's not on tackle. He can dodge out, provide an assist, and then it's a two plus. Who's who's not on tackle? The blitzer and the Oh this the, guy, the, this guy, okay, this yeah, I didn't know this guy was free, okay, yeah, okay, the the leaper was free, okay. Hmm. Well yeah. He just freed up the leaper. But like you know, it's is it worth it though, right? He's like it's adding a one in thirty six. He's not really doing adding anything though, is he? That's what I'm saying, right? You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven okay, yeah, he is making you do an extra two plus. Okay. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he's he's not doing anything. Is he like he's not a tackle zone? Is he? You can do twos anyway. Then just do that. <laughs> just fucking do that. Why not? Yeah, you love to see a bit of nerds and steel madness. <laughs> good work, good work, Belly. Nice one. Yeah, that's the thing. I forgot. Yeah, when I was saying about scattering, it's like yeah, it just doesn't matter, does it? Just roll twos. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid that you can just two. You can just two it. I think he went the wrong way though, because I think he did two dodges through tackle, didn't he? And he could have just done one dodge through tackle. He had the movement That's two of them. Um... Yeah, in fact, maybe just maybe scattering was actually worse than. Yeah, yeah, because of it. Oh, no, it... no, no, it's not worse. It's not worse because because he's got fucking nerves of steel. So if he picks it up, he can just pass on a two plus to the catcher who can catch on a two plus, isn't it? So. <laughs> So that does give an intercept, mind you, but um, I, don't, I think maybe... I think he was That's definitely it. right to not scatter, because cause if he scatters, then a chorf could catch it and you don't score. Yeah. And that was yeah. just like twos and threes, it was so easy, wasn't it? It's so... like it's... You it's, picked it's, up in four tackle zones. <laughs> it was a three then? plus. Um, the pickup was a three plus in four tackle zones, was it? Oh my it was, god. It was only in three, it was only in three, because one, one was his tackle zone, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 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 right. So there's a three plus pickup. So yeah, pretty just, good. Pretty it good. Just, it was just two, three, three. 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 <laughs> Fucking stupid. And that was the absolute nightmare um, <laughs> scatter. <though. laughs> yeah. yeah, and it was mm. just twos and threes. And six is pretty, pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Like that is a level. That's a seventy-six star player point player, isn't it? He's got yeah. five skills. Yeah. My my usual problem with Edge Six is that you lack other good skills to go with the Edge Six. So all you're doing basically is doing insane dodges, uh, which is obviously good. But he got cast. Oh my god! <laughs> the crowd did not like that. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> there's some there's some big chore fan in the crowd that's like, fuck that. We're we're not having these shenanigans. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's harsh for Belly. Yeah, yeah, harsh for Belly, but but that's so good, isn't it? That's so good. The irate chaffs. <laughs> Just get him. <laughs> How can you not yeah. take Edge Six in your Edge Five catcher after this, Jim? Uh, I'll tell you why I kill because my Edge Five catcher is dead. <laughs> is it? Yeah, he died his first oh. his first game with Edge Five. He died. <laughs> Oh shit! Sorry about that. I, I watched the game before that, where where you got an edge five catch, but I didn't realize he he died. That's <laughs> he didn't. He didn't survive a half. <laughs> always the way. Always the way. Yep. I've had. Uh, I'm on Ben Somniac number five with my Wood Elf team this season. So that's <laughs> that's like four dead war dancers. It's been the same war dancer every time, but. <laughs> A couple of a couple of iterations of Ben Somniac have been edge five war dancers that have died. <laughs> Pretty brutal. 
Well, there you go. That was that's uh, that was just like that's the thing, isn't it? The wizard can always just win you the game as elves, and but it, it, this could he could still make this two two. He's still got plenty of time, hasn't he? Five turns to drive. Um, yeah. But no show sure hands at all. Seven elves, is it? Not many elves. Yes, yeah, seven. But not having a ball carrier really could come to bite him in the ass, couldn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he just had a ball carrier that died, right? I mean, yes, you would think so. He's going with the ball. He's got it on the Picks ball. Picks it up on the ball. Oh, oh that's baby. pretty good. Blodge, break, tackle, ball. Yeah, this is hard to deal with now, isn't it? Yeah, although he can go for the uphill wrestle strip. Yeah, he's got he's got to hunt him now, hasn't he? If he can. Yeah. This is the only player that matters almost. Thing is now with the break tackle ball. Yeah, the ball is quick, but the rest of the team is not quick. So he's got four turns now to bring it from quite deep in the backfield to the end zone, and he's got to protect against the wrestle stripper by moving his chores forward. So he can't afford to fuck about, you know, like with his chores. He needs to get them rolling forwards and just because otherwise your cage is going to be too thin. Like, if you're just relying on a couple of hobgoblins to cage with and stuff. He's got enough time, but I'm just saying he, he, he can't afford to take too much time. Ooh. No. Well, I guess who's getting claw bombed? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is pretty aggressive from Veli. Yeah. He's getting hit and he's getting fouled. <clears throat> I think this is... Optimistic. Just as you were saying, um, <laughs> he's got to watch that. Uh, he's got like he's, he's got to watch that that wrestle stripper now. He's just put it right next to the pro claw pommer and, and the dirty player. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't have put him more in harm's way if he tried. <laughs> no, he's kind of he's protected a bit from the foul by doing this, isn't he? Yeah, a bit. So, I mean, like but he he had to he should have GFI'd him shouldn't he probably uh, like not not this one that this one should have been you know he should have been one square. Yeah, if he's only got one reroll. Well, he's only got one reroll though, so he's trying to do things as you know he can't use any rerolls at all yeah. until the turn. But this way, you can just put it right next to the dirty player, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's guarding here, isn't it? And then just smash him. Smash him there and get a one assist foul on him. Which, you know, have been known to not work, so. Yeah. Haven't they, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he's pushed he's him bits the wrong, in the wrong way. He's pushed him the wrong way. Oh, no, this, this, this works as well, right? Because then you can get an assist up here as well as part of the cage. So you can still get the assist on him, just from here. Yeah, yeah, okay. But this means then you've got to, like, put the ball near him. <clears throat> and him, I don't, I don't like, I like going the other way now, now that you've got the, you know, get get away from these guys. Yeah. And uh, go up this side. I guess he really should have blitzed this guy, right? You, I, you put, positionally, you should have blitzed this guy and then gone up fully diagonally, I guess. I think Feli did a nice job looking... Think about that. So look at the way he screened his four, four players he's got forward, right? He had two players in the center. One of them is the, the danger player, the stripper, the wrestle stripper. But the danger player, the wrestle stripper, is part of the bit of the screen where there's two players there. And yeah. the, they're all in the place where he wants his cage to go. So if he blitzes the danger player, then he leaves this, and he's got two sidestep players on the single areas, like where the air, the screen is only one player deep. So if he if he blitz the player that he was pretty sure he was going to blitz, then the screen was probably going to stay intact because that was part of two players. He is, however, he has got enough players to make it really good. But um, at least that's he, I think he thought carefully about where he wanted to put that screen. He was thinking about whether to do the GFIs and stuff like that. So yeah. And that's kind of drawn the dirty player away. I think he probably will. F he won't foul this, I don't think. I think he no, might not foul because he's he's out of range, isn't he? And he can shore up the yeah, yeah. Shore up the cage a bit. 
But yeah, it was, but, a, ni it was a nice revert, yeah, for sure. <laughs> When you, you have to do with four coins. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's so underrated, isn't it? Because, like, I like the maximum of plan for pushes when I'm playing Blood Bowl and, like, you know, not rely on getting pals. And if you do plan for pushes, if you go by that <clears throat> idea, then it's very discouraging to try and blitz sidestep so yeah. uh, ever so you can often use sidesteppers to hold down areas and make your opponent think well do I really want to blitz this guy because he's got sidestep so if I don't roll a power then um, it could be my entire blitz you know my my entire position gain for that to turn just disappeared so yeah, yeah absolutely it's one of my favorite skills I love a bit sidestep <laughs> me too Glorious. Hmm. Now he just has to stop it anyway, doesn't he? he? Doesn't even have to. Uh, he doesn't have to sack it now. He just has to get in the way. Yep. Get right. some bodies in the way. Yeah. There were three. There were three GFIs there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that was a good idea because he might not have to do them right with uh, with three turns after this. Um, I would. I kind of didn't like the GFIs that the bull made there. I didn't mention it at the time, but I think that was. Oh, he's hitting size. He's sitting stand firm again. Yeah, one of my one of my other um, things about planning for pushes is that I fucking <laughs> never blitz stand firm. <laughs> yeah, I, I like just dodging this guy first, right? Oh, he hasn't got dodge. Oh shit. Okay, well I don't like. I don't. Yeah, there's not much you can do then, is there? At least by blitzing him, you, you know, you, you've got a decent chance of powering him and then not having to dodge out either of these two. Whereas having the to dodge them both. The movement blitz wasn't. The movement blitzer wasn't on tackle at all, and he had one other player as well. He could have, he could have done the blitz with the movement blitzer and another player on the, on the like a pro pommer or something like that. Yeah, but I mean, th this block, this blitz gets them two guys off tackle, doesn't it? If it, if, if it works. It's big if though, because it can, yeah, if it doesn't work, he was positionally really out of it, wasn't he? Could have, could have just leapt out on a three pass with that. Oh no, it's not the leaper, is it? No. So I kind of like the yeah, idea of just powering him and then running through it. But if he oh, he needed the power, like if, even if he had taken the wrestle, then his stripper would have been out of position. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe he should have blitzed this hobble and then that got this guy out without dodging, didn't it? That was pretty nice. Yeah, that would have worked. And then and then the stripper could have dodged backwards. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Then it frees up. Yeah, where where was the the blitzer was about here or something, wasn't he? So yeah, yeah he could have just gone two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could have got about the same place as he is, and then that would have freed him up to dodge out, and then he would have had the two and two. But I mean, obviously it failed, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's better than hitting the stand firm guy. Yeah. This is looking pretty good for the chorfs now, I think. Incredibly good. Yeah. But if Feli wins the toss in overtime, he could score with like about six L's, yep. wouldn't he? A match six. <laughs> it's pretty hard to defend against. Oh no, he got cast. <laughs> he got cast by yeah. the rock. <laughs> he's got a, he's got a leap guy though, so it's pretty hard to defend against a movement eight leap guy and other players. Has he still got his thrower? <laughs> I don't think he does, does he? No, I can't see him. Just eat that, yeah, because it's overtime. You've got to eat this. This is. Utterly yeah. Good eat. I think Veli is going to hope for the toss now. I can't see him burning his last reroll to. Um... No, no. Neither of them should use rerolls at this point, should they? Yeah. Oh, there's the throw. He got. He got minus movemented. Poor bastard. I don't think I would have run away as soon as the bull picked up the bulldog because he had two rerolls left, and he's got a wrestle stripper like we've been talking about. And that's a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good odds. And all he needs to do is, is get something going to slow the chorfs down. I mean, if this half had gone better, then um, you know it's not it's not not that straightforward to score in four turns from the backfield yeah. with chorf. So you know, I don't think it's I don't think I would have just given up straight away on a defence. Yeah. 
Yeah, because just just because like that's the thing. If you stop them, you just win, don't you? Whereas yeah. if you yeah. if you if you run away, then half of the time you just lose anyway because they get the ball, and then and then half of the time you've got a chance. Whereas if you stop them, you've won. So I think it's definitely worth trying to put everything you can into stopping it. Well, when you say everything, everything except for the last reroll. <laughs> maybe everything, depending on how how close oh, yeah. you are. Maybe yeah, if it if it had gone better then maybe everything. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously now you're not gonna get good odds on it, so now you're not putting in the reroll. Definitely not now that he's down to like six elves, every elf counts, doesn't it? So like if he gets one or two removals here, yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna be like every removal is gonna be super super important. Yep, and he can lock this guy down here, look, you, can, you can make like a triangle shape here, can't he, to lock him on the claw thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which is uh not not nice. Oh, he's just going to fully cage him, probably. Just fully cage this guy. <laughs> that, seems really, that seems really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like just fully cage that guy. <laughs> claw pom this other dickhead. <laughs> Looks like he's going to claw on the sidestepper, doesn't it? Which makes, make, begs the question, where, where are you going with your ball? Okay, no, he is, he is, he is close. can go here, can you? Yeah. That's pretty good. You can eye cage with guard around him, I suppose. But... I don't know where he's going now. <laughs> yeah, I cage with guard, yeah. So what's he's got the frenzy hop. I mean, the frenzy hop is... Um, it's a GF. I think he's going to GFI here. Blocked his path, didn't he? Imagine if he double ones because he blocked his path. Look at dog. That would have been amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah, fully cage the fully cage the stripper. Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> Has he forgotten, forgotten about the hole at the bottom? Is he just gonna nah, he's, just gonna, he's just gonna like triangle him. No, he's not. Oh god, that's horrible! You can't give him the two plus out. Come on, come on, you can't. You just, you just can't. I'm sorry, you can't. Three plus out to where though? It's the last turn. Just run away. Just run away. He right, okay, claw pumped. Yeah. He just doesn't get claw pumped. Like you can't just let him, <laughs> let him get off, can you? Also, it'd have been better if the claw pommel was here, right? So that the three, the three, two, they would have both been off tackle. Now he's, if if the yeah, thing had been there, it'd be a three and then two with dodge. That so, seems pointless to put the hog in. Yeah, this is doing did, nothing. At the end there. Yeah, this is doing nothing. That at least makes it a three, a three off tackle, and then a double one. Like, because you've got to run away. You can't just get hit by claw, can you? Like, you can't just get claw pommel. You've got to move this guy and this guy. Otherwise, they're getting curl palmed. I I would not be going for the ball this time. I would be running the fuck away. <laughs> yep. Try not to die. And as it happens, he's not locked in any of the players, so he's kind of encouraging the runaway approach because they've all got two plus dodges out, so. Yeah. I think this is going to extra time, Fabian. Hello. Hello. Good abend. And hello, Yak. I uh I was very disappointed to see that you haven't played today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, good luck for tomorrow. You're playing tomorrow, aren't you? Who's the up against? Uh, Andre, a Spanish off. Spanish off, yeah. Yeah, PI, PI versus PI. Not private investigator, but procedure mentor or illegal or something. <laughs> a P <a> off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, look, I was right. <laughs> Penis Procedure Mentoro <laughs> <laughs> is going 
Oh, and he fails, and he's getting curb-palmed. Ooh. <laughs> this fucking... This French commentary is awesome. <laughs> I I forget sometimes you still have the uh, the French commentary. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. So so tomorrow at the nine a.m. UTC. Yeah, I'll try and be up for it. The yeah, axe boss rolled a ten. <laughs> Boo. Only a, only a KO. Yeah, Never but... lucky. Can 3D him as well, can he? Yeah, can 3D him. I don't like this. I think the odds of... The odds of losing the game because you don't have enough players because the players got removed and you won the toss and you still couldn't score anyway are higher than the odds of getting a... Um, well, it's, I guess 1 in 36, isn't it, for... um. He needed with that uphill. Yeah. Well, yeah. He needed, it's less than one of the faces because he needed a GFI to get it. And yeah. he needed to dodge off the tackle, so. Yeah, I hate that. Oh, yeah. I agree. <laughs> but he didn't lose anybody, so. Well, he did. He's got, got somebody KO'd, didn't he? So. Oh, yeah, he got him KO'd, yeah. No, he did. <laughs> well, he did. <laughs> <laughs> He did. No one died. All right. <laughs> Nobody died. Yeah. That's true. There was no death. Right then, what happens here? That KO guy stays. The guy who got KO'd from that stays KO'd. Yeah. So there you He's go. KO'd. Justice. The guy that's been down for a long time wakes up. He's just a kick line man. Uh, who's won the toss? All of which will be irrelevant if the chores win the toss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The choice of not won the toss. Oh, baby, there's a chance. He's got six elves. Yeah, but what he would do for a fucking leap catcher that he just uh, threw away <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> threw under the bus, yep. Yeah. Boy, howdy. <laughs> anyway, I've been in this situation before. And scored, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, not in this exact situation, but I've been in a situation where I've had six elves <laughs> and up against a full chorf team in school, so it's not certainly not, you know, impossible. No. He's got guard, so he could come around the corner, could tuck the guard in somewhere. One D a bull, that always works well. Yep, that's what <laughs> I was thinking, Jim, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> 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 he's only got he's he's basically got slow all the chops are slow and he's put the wrestle dodge hobgoblin on the side where his tackle he's got the frenzy player and the tackle well on, the same, on side. the same side yeah don't like that which is it the guard guy that's movement down yes it is isn't it yeah he's moved five yeah I don't think you want to start the guard guy. If you're going to use the guard guy to one dust the ball, then you don't start the guard guy on the left hand side because that's those si those sideline spaces are too valuable. You want them with high movement pieces. Um, so I would start the I would start the guard guy uh, dodging from the center. Oh. And this guy would not be my pickup. I'd just use a rando. He's got, he's got no kick. He's got no kick. Just use a rando guy that's on five star player points. And just put him in the middle. <laughs> you've, you've got to have two possible scoring threats, haven't you, right? Then they can't yeah. deal with it. They can't deal with it because they can base one and blitz one, and then the one whose base goes, I don't give a fuck, I'm a pro elf. <laughs> yeah. All right. I would definitely be picking up on a random line man here and yeah. just hoping that the kick is not. Horrendous, but even if the kick is horrendous, it's still like a four plus pass or something. Yeah. And hello, HTK. <laughs> you had your penis tucked ready to dance. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> where, where, where did you took it? How did you took it? Why would you took it? <laughs> that makes no sense. How do you dance? <laughs> What's going on? Didn't see HK's messages, but 
But if you just prepare your penis for the next time I stream HTK, <laughs> and I will play that song. Cue Lazarus. Right, fair enough. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, it's off of the Silence of the Lambs soundtrack? I'm trying to think of the Buffalo Bill scenes. Can't right now, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll play it in my head. <laughs> That was a reference too far for both me and Jim, but now I'm thinking Silence of the Lambs. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, <laughs> okay I've never seen Silence of the Lambs. You not? I haven't, no. Maybe I should watch it, eh? It's, it's very good. Really good. This is a horrible kick, isn't it? Look. Yeah, this kick sucks. But uh, I think he probably needs to dodge out. He could dodge. Lino can pass it to the catcher, and then the catcher, yeah. could, just, the catcher could just bez down the sideline. <laughs> I can love it. Right, I see, Mordred. Okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> I mean, that makes to that makes total sense. <laughs> it makes more sense than than the nonsense that. <laughs> Oh wow, he's gone. He's, oh, and he used the one. He, he's got the short hands. Look at he's that. He's got the short hands. That's, the, that's, that's why he's back there. Nope, and he's GFI. I think he's not going to go for it. No, nope, he's passing. He is going to go for it. Bosh. Alright, he's got the ball. On a movement aid guy. What's he going to do with it? How's he going to get down the field? He's why did gonna... he run all the way back there, though? With his thrower. Like, quite sure. Uh, to avoid, definitely avoid a uh, intercept, I guess. Here, maybe he's an intercept here. Maybe he can still intercept from there. I don't know. I don't know how the throwing template works. Remember that started with oh, the one that's no. on the ball. Finish it with the one yes! that's on the ball. Yes! <laughs> I think we should acknowledge the massive German raid that's just come in here. <laughs> oh, glorious, huge raid. <laughs> <from stuff. laughs> glorious, thank you very much. It's it the Germans. The <laughs> 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 surprise attack from the Germans, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All raids are beautiful. <laughs> Here he comes with a ball, bezing it down the sidelines as he suggested. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, but he's got something there, hasn't he? Well. <laughs> well. He's got something there. He just needs to base up this chore for the former, doesn't he? I guess. He's got break tackle for 2D, but, but without... Yeah, yeah, so he's, he's based the tackler. This isn't easy, is it? Unless I'm being fucking daft, this isn't easy. Well, it's not easy to get two dice with tackle. Cool. You could double GFI with a guard and then hit with a wrestle. Guard could double GFI to there. Oh, he's already got wrestle. He's got a, he's got a tackle. He's yeah, got but, a chore from the centre. Yeah, but I'm just saying he's already got wrestle. I was thinking hitting him with wrestle was the same, but he's already got wrestle, hasn't he? So yeah, yeah you really want to hit with tackle when he's already got wrestle. Yeah, so GFI to hit there. It's whether you uh, make the double GFI to to get the assist on as well. I missed where Veli used the reroll there. That was kind of crucial. He was on the score. He used the reroll. He scored he oh, against the ball. Yeah, of course he did, yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Oh, yeah. Goliath. <laughs> of course he did. It started with a skull against the ball. Will it end with a ball on a skull? Nearly. At least it wasn't four skulls, though. Skull, skull at the, on turn one of the first half, and skull, skull to finish. Yeah. Alright, so now. Use guard chore for the assist, and then oh. come around the back with the wrestler. Wait, what was that idea? What the fuck was he doing? Sorry to go he all out miss, but what he the missed, fuck? He missed, he missed the fact that the lion man had guard. But even then, you're just making a block for no reason. Aren't you? You're not doing anything yeah. with that block. Yep. So you shouldn't be doing it, because you could roll double skulls. Well, oh yes, well, you can put the guard in here and then blitz with the wrestle. 
Yeah, around the, around the corner. Yeah, but you could have done that without awful. taking that one dice. <laughs> yeah. It's still a GFI. I don't know. I, I think I prefer the double GFI for the uh, yeah for this guard and then yeah, but that would have been what double GFI for that guard and then and then another GFI with tackle. Yeah, but if yeah. you use the reroll, then you hit with the wrestle the same way as uh, you, you yeah know. yeah. Good point. Also, doing that guarantees there's somebody around the back. Like the hobgoblin is not being very useful at the moment. Mm. Where he is. Not good enough. Because even if he does get the ball down and he's got no players around the back there, else can pick it up and score. So, exactly, yeah, easily. Well, this is a naked 3 plus and then a 3 plus with dodge, and then a 2 plus go. Yeah. Maybe uphill the uh, ball. Like two plus uphill the ball to uh, chain him so that you're off tackle. Who? Okay. I don't know if that's well, with anybody. This guy. Okay, you can't do that now. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking this guy could just go. Just... It's it's a fifty five percent score here if he just does the three plus three plus yeah. two plus. Can you can you uphill him? Is that better? If you power him, it's incredible. Let me samba that for you. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult because if it doesn't samba wouldn't count the uh, the both downs. Like the both downs would then leave you in the original situation. So yeah, um, but the minus two D for a push and then uh, three plus two plus for the dodge is thirty seven percent. So I think it's better just to dodge. Yeah. 55%. That's better than 50%. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If he missed the first three plus, he's laughing, isn't he? But, like, the uphill is the same for the push. is the same as a dodge. With dodge, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm stupid. Well, yeah, I mean, I think... Oh, yeah, so this would get rid of this would... No, no, he doesn't need a GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no. he's in range. There's yeah. no extra two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's probably doing what I'm doing right now, and he's furiously sambering before he rolls a two. He's rolled a two. He's 55%. No. He's not fucked. <laughs> like, <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> well, he's faster. He's faster. So if they don't power him, if they don't power this catcher here, then he sidesteps further to he sidesteps closer to it. Yep. So And then it's one man against the world. <laughs> yeah. You never know. You never know. Is it goes into OT? It's already in OT, Al. <laughs> oh, not assisting the not assisting the hit. Yep, so he's just he's just going for the two D. Doesn't power him. <laughs> Jim's, Jim's seeing an opportunity. Just here. Yeah. Help me, in my humble opinion. We all know how easy it is to do a three plus away from tackle. Yeah, simple, isn't it? Sixty-six percent of the time it works every time. He could have. Um, could he have three dash that? What's he? He surely could have done. He's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he absolutely could have. Like these two, these two hobbles are here, and this this guy here could have absolutely three yeah. it. But I guess he gets to three D the uh, the blitz the blitz ra. Oh, he doesn't. He's not going to three D the blitzer. 
It's a blitzer can be off top. Oh, okay, he's just gonna dodge away from him. <laughs> and fail and die. <laughs> 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 this is the next game. game. Huge. He's got his upper though, isn't he? He's got. Oh yeah, apple fails. Apple fails. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, and you can get the ball here. You can get the ball and can't be hit. Like you can, you can get the ball in GFI. Like totally can. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. And one D blitzer. I think I would have dodged the blitzer first before I did this. Assuming he's gonna go for the ball pick up here. Which I think he should. Well, is he in range? What what's the range now? How many more squares has he got? Um, yeah, he's in range. I think I would have dodged the blitzer here first. Yeah. Because two plus dodge out for the blitzer. I think you need him as a scoring threat. Yeah. Because otherwise you can just blitz your the catcher guy. Anyway. Yeah. He's got the ball. Also, you could have thrown it to him. You yeah. Could have, you could have dodged the blitzer and then just lobbed it to him. Yeah. But he's out of range of, of dwarves now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get a hit. And now he's made the dodge. And he can get away from dwarves as well, right? Can't get away from the bull. But he can get away from the claw palm. Yeah. See, I told you it was pretty good, this. I told you it was a good throw for him. Fucking told you! Fucking told you! <laughs> but about Nostradamus, that is Jim. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a good game, anyway. I think it's been pretty fun. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, bro. Amazing that the game started with a skull on the ball. Nearly finished with another double yeah. skull on the ball. <laughs> We've had, had some pleasing symmetry, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't get away from the dwarves. No, I would have liked him to have been um, there, so that he couldn't have been hit by the curl palm. Fucking told you! Fucking told you! <laughs> <laughs> but now he's got a blitz the blitzer with his bull, hasn't he? It's, that's his only receiver. Yeah, I, I think, think so. You've got to blitz that guy with tackle up the top there, and yeah. and then I, if you don't blitz the catcher down here, you got to think about where the catcher could or yeah. will go. So yeah, you've got to you've got to like try and play whack a mole with the catcher, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> it's Come here, you little bastard! Because <laughs> he can just run, he can just dick around in the backfield, right? <laughs> he can and run anywhere. Yeah. Yep. He's in no rush to. He's in no rush to try a stupid pass. <laughs> so does he get knocked down here? There we go. Double one on the GFI. Imagine that. And he doesn't do it. He gets the knockdown. Okay, does he get an arm break? Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until <laughs> I'm victorious, and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Oh, I guess he doesn't need to step towards the end zone because. No. So he, he could still get up and get into the end zone. <laughs> Twice up. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for. Uh, for. Um, fuck me. Six, <laughs> six beaver pregnancies. Thanks. 39 is a difficult number, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 25, sorry. Yeah, 25. I went, I went blank there for a second. I was trying not to say what he had said. <laughs> I thought it was a bit. <laughs> just go for it. Do you just go for it? I mean. Uh, yeah. I think. I probably do. Well. You could yeah. do, couldn't you? You could do. Fuck it. Just go for it. It's like. Wrong. Just get into the thing. Come. come through, go through the. Why not? Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why that because it's got an intercept chance, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> it's genuinely terrible. <laughs> no offence. Who's to say if it's right or wrong? But it's definitely 100%. There are not many times when it is genuinely a right or wrong scenario. Uh, but when you are just aiming for one thing, and that is to score, then you can just work out the percentages, can't you? So. Yeah. 
Oh, so he, he was he was like kind of doing easier dodges, I guess, going around there rather than going around the dodge way. So that was his thinking. Now whether it was right or not, I think it was wrong. Because I think this is a one in nine, isn't it? Whereas that was a one in six. Yeah, but he did end up using the. Didn't he end up? He did use dodge on the first two plus. Yeah. yeah. So, so I guess this, but this guarantees a thing. Oh, I don't know. It might be. It might be better, <laughs> mightn't it? Because this gives you the option, doesn't it? Having him there, it adds the two plus of the intercept, but it gives you the option of going either way if you pop dodge. And that, I think, probably concludes our broadcast for for this game. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately now it looks like Elves right and it did just give him an opportunity to hold the ball before before, before the end of the match. Elves is. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it wasn't. Um, it was much more fun that the Elves won the toss in overtime than the Dwarfs. Yes. Um, yes, this would have been shit if the Dwarfs had won the toss, wouldn't it? It'd be a good try. Imagine if he'd have had an extra leap for an eight wrestle player <laughs> yeah. to play with. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Rock absolutely fucked him, didn't it? No, no I was thinking the uh, the non dodges oh, away before yeah. going for the crazy sack on the last turn. So. Yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. Imagine if he'd have had an edge six. <laughs> imagine if he just hadn't been fucked by the stupid fucking rock. Yeah, that rock. But that no, is uh, it's got no one that's found. Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yep. Well, I think I think the edge six would have made a big difference, right? If he wins the toss and makes makes the touchdown almost elementary, doesn't it? Who rolled like trash, trash dead I don't think anyone had super bad dice in overtime. It kind of went as expected. Yeah, I think but there's a lot of tackle, right? And he didn't have a lot of rerolls, so he's got he's going to roll some ones. Yeah. One thing I'd look back on, I think. Wasn't oh. a blitz. I thought he was blitzing. <laughs> oh god, that wasn't a blitz. That was clearly meant to be a blitz, right? Yeah, sure. Because he, he cut the corner there, didn't he? It had to have been a blitz because you wouldn't have cut the corner. Yeah. If you weren't going to blitz because you'd just gone there. I think. Um... <laughs> I think his the first turn of overturn where he set up, uh, where he went up the sideline, uh, he could have done some more GFIs to protect the ball better. Yeah. Um, he he chose like to leave it pretty easy to get a two dice, and not that difficult to get a two dice with tackle. Yeah. Um, it was only the fact that he made um, Sasori made a retarded one dice block because he forgot the fact that the elf had guard yeah. and. Uh, uh, that even made it like half decent, but um, I don't think it was very well protected. Now, obviously, he hasn't got very many players to work with, but I think I probably would have, given the situation, have just made some more GFIs to try and make the screen better. Yeah, it's just hard, though, um, isn't it? When you've got no rerolls, that's that's the problem, isn't it? It's like yeah, you got no rerolls, but it was just so so open to getting sacked. And he was lucky, he was lucky in the end that he one dice sculled on the stupid irrelevant block yeah. and then didn't roll up or decided not to do any GFIs and went for the wrestle no tackle hit, didn't get him down and still gave him a 55% to just score on turn two of the other time. So, yeah. so that was pretty fortunate. Um, yeah. But I think if you, if you look back on the, the way he played the, the first sort of overtime, there were some chances to do maybe perhaps three two pluses to get the ball safe. Yeah, that's the thing. Though. Like, like, to be fair though, like when you're actually playing it and you've been playing the game for like in, you know two hours or whatever, it takes a lot of nuts to make those two pluses, doesn't it? That's the that's the problem. Like without the reroll, like and 
you know, obviously you know the maths yeah. and everything, and you know it is better to make them yourself and let your opponent roll the dice. But just, it just, you know, if you had the real already made those GFIs, I'm sure. You know? Yeah, he, he, yeah, I'm sure he would have. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's, it's 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 one of those game decision points, isn't it? But uh, these are the sort of like the crucial turns. But um, wizard, the wizard plays were pretty good. The picking up on a <laughs> picking up on a three in that crowd of players with the edge six was pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> <and> crazy. <isn't laughs> Handing off to the nurse steel guy. Mm. Need to be more dio esque, yeah, exactly. Hello, PC, and hello, Wolfpack. Yeah, like, that's the thing, like, a lot of people think. A lot of people think, like, it's better, you know, because it's kind of drummed into people, especially when people are new to Blood Bowl, of, like, you know, less dice is better. It's not really always the case, is it? It's whatever gives you the best chances better. <laughs> and in that yeah, case, so... it was it was definitely better to make, you know, and it, it mostly is better to roll the dice yourself, isn't it, than, than give your opponent the chance to roll them. It, it really is mostly better to roll them yourself. But... I was, um, somebody, somebody, uh, I think it was on, I can't remember whose stream it was on, but there was a, there was a, somebody who just joined the stream and he said, oh, I've played about 20 games of Blood Bowl. It's a brilliant game, isn't it? It's so many different sort of permutations to, to learn and it's like a lot of opportunities and I think that's, that's why people enjoy it, isn't it? Why, why it's such a cool game that, you know, it's nice that somebody can still be picking up Blood Bowl that's never heard of Blood Bowl, joining the game and, um, you know, just having a, experiencing the, the joy of like a game that is complex, a game that has a lot of decisions, and where right and wrong isn't super easy for you know even like really good players to to decide. I guess. So. Yeah. There you go. Booking shots win. Well, well played, Sasori. Yeah. And and that was a, that was a good game to good game to watch. Really enjoyed that. It was, yeah, very enjoyable, yeah. And, you know, I hope no one takes offence, because, you know, just trying to have a laugh weren't we a bit. It's like, weren't really serious criticisms of the <laughs> awful, terrible things that happened. <laughs> well, now that, uh, now that Art is streaming COD to 10 players, then it's down to us, Jim, and down to, down to the rest of the commentators to, uh, to take his place. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Absolute shitters. <laughs> you've, been, you've been working on the accent. <laughs> AC, what's your what's your Welsh accent like? I bet it's pretty good. Have you ever have you ever played an angry Welshman, PC, in any of your acting gigs? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good, yeah. Right. Anyway, on uh, let's before we find I don't know if the PC's got the time, we could find out, but before we get PC monologuing for 10 minutes, I'm going to wrap up the end of the YouTube video. <laughs> um, congratulations, so sorry. Commiserations, Vola Hoppia. Thank you very much for joining us, Fatin. Um, You're welcome. Lots of fun. Glorious match. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>